A legal victory today for a former Virginia high school student who challenged his school district's bathroom policy regarding transgender students. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. Thank you for joining us. I'm Candace Burns. The U.S. Supreme Court declined to review a ruling regarding the Gavin Grimm case. Our Shannon Lilly has reaction from Gavin tonight. She is live with the story. Shannon. Well, Candace, it is a debate that starts right here. Should you be able to use the restroom of the gender that you identify as? Today, a Supreme Court says essentially yes. Cool. I was a 15-year-old child. How dare you force a child into that position to begin with? Six years of fighting for the right to use the restroom in the bathroom that matches his identity. There is anger that it took six years of my life, uh, three out of four of my high school years, the first four of my young adult years, uh, fighting for this this thing, which should, there never should have been a question about. But Monday, a win for Gavin Grimm and other trans students as the Supreme Court declined to take up the issue of transgender bathroom rights in public schools. So I feel vindicated and excited and you know, I love my community and I love being trans. As a teen, Grimm transitioned from female to male, but was prevented from using both the boys and girls restrooms at Gloucester County High School in Virginia. The school instead installing a single stall unisex restroom for trans students. Grimm challenged the policy, and in 2018, a federal judge ruled in his favor. Monday, the Supreme Court keeps that ruling in place with their decision not to take up the case. In a statement, the Gloucester County School Board declined to comment in this case. As for Grimm, he still carries his experience with him. I have so much happiness and love right now, but I, I just have to recognize that that little 15-year-old, even though he's this excited 22-year-old with this awesome life, he didn't deserve that. And two justices say they wanted the court to take up the case today, but the court had no further comment.